Hey everyone, how are you doing? In this brief video I want to show you something, but first let me create my JIT world, so we have something to render into. Uh, world plus skybox. Uh, this is a procedural skybox that I have uh, created recently, which you can download from my Patreon. Uh, it's kind of similar to how the Unity skybox looks like by default, so... Yeah, but that's not what I actually want to show you. I want to talk about something that came up on the Jitter group uh, uh, last day, which is basically how to clear the buffer of a GGL model. So basically how to delete the model inside a GGL model without having to destroy the object. So let's say that I have a GGL model and it draws to my context and I want to load the duck model. So I read duck.die and there it is, that's our model. So now there is not actually really a way to delete this model from the GGL model object because there is not really like a clear buffer object or something. So uh, if I send it the read message just to read something else, uh, yeah, it, the, this menu appears, so it's not really practical. So I want to show you a solution to that, which, um, which is also useful to refresh your OpenGL in JavaScript in max knowledge. So let's actually do it like this. Instead of having this model here, let's delete it and let's create a JavaScript file. And I will call it uh, mymodel.js. Good, now this file doesn't exist. Oh, it actually exists. So let me actually delete its content. Um, cool, because I already did it, of course. So first thing we want to do is to give it the auto watch um, attribute to the JavaScript object so we can edit it with an external editor. Good. And then we want to create our model. So we'll call it my model and this is going to be a new, it's going to be a new jitter object. Whoops, jitter object. GGL model which draws to my context which I know it's called main. All right, good. And then let's create a function to actually load this model. So let's call it load model uh, with a path for our model. And uh, let's say my model dot read the path with this model. So this, if the model is inside the search um, path of max, then we can simply pass the name of the model instead of the full path. Otherwise, we have to pass the full path. And let's maybe then post to the console. I've loaded the model at, I can even attach the path just to be uh, super clear. Great. Uh, let's actually give it the normalize uh, attribute to this model because now if we want to give uh, special values to the attributes of this model, we have to pass them in this way, like if these were properties of the object, my model. Great. Cool. Um, let's now create the function. Now let's first see if this works. So I will save and then go here and create a function and call it load model. And let's say duck.die. This is already inside the search path of max, so I don't need to put the full path. Uh, so as you can see, the, the duck appears and it says, I've loaded the model at the model at duck.die. Cool. Now let's say that we want to clear this model. We want to get rid of the duck without getting uh, errors in the console, or without having a new a menu to read the objects uh, appearing. So we can do like this function clear model. And this, we don't need any arguments to this function because we don't have to pass anything in. So the first thing we need to do is to say free peer. So this free peer function, this is a property of uh, all the Jitter, all the OpenGL objects inside JavaScript, uh, is needed to delete uh, the object that has been created with the new uh, Jitter object constructor, which has been created in C. So this JavaScript thing is, is just referring to a C object, so an object created in C, uh, which has all the functionalities, all the OpenGL stuff. So this is not really, uh, this is just a reference to a C object that it creates automatically for us. So we need first to delete this C object, because as you maybe know in JavaScript, we don't need to take care of memory allocation. JavaScript does this for us, but in C we have to do that. And uh, uh, since this is just um, a reference to a C object, we need to also destroy the C object itself in JavaScript. So we have to say my model free peer, good. So now actually our GGL model is gone, so we need to assign it again. So we have to basically copy this line here. We can actually even create a function to do that, so it will be a bit neater. 
uh, function create uh, create gl model obj and uh, let's do like this and we're just going to return a new jitter object blah 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 that draws to main great so here we can say let's actually put it later i think it will be the same but just to be super clear let's put it later so let's call this function create gl model obj good so when we deleted it then we need to recreate this opengl object this ggl model and let's maybe also post something uh, post model has been cleared or something like that good and since actually this will not go to a new line we need to put a new post empty post function so it's going to go to a new line good let's see if this works load the model i loaded the model and we have to say clear model or something like that this is how we called it yes so let's do that model is gone so we can now read a new uh, another model for example if we wanted and we can do that as many times as we want without getting any errors in the console and uh, this is kind of neat so good this was it very brief um, so yeah, just to tell you that JavaScript is really cool and you can use it for a lot of things, also stuff that uh, doesn't require to write a lot of code, just a couple of lines, and makes actually a lot of fun to make stuff in JavaScript, at least that's what I think. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon with some new content. Check my Patreon, put a like to the video, subscribe to the channel, all the jets, and I will see you soon. Ciao.